Unit 1. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. A healthy diet means eating a variety of foods that give our bodies the right nutrients. This includes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, proteins, and dairy products. Each of these food groups provides different vitamins and minerals that help us stay healthy. Fruits and vegetables are full of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. They give us energy and help our bodies fight off illnesses. It's good to eat different colors of fruits and vegetables because each color offers unique benefits. Whole grains like whole wheat bread and brown rice provide us with energy and fiber. Fiber helps our digestion and keeps our stomach happy. Unit 4. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Disneyland Paris is a super fun place in France where you can have an amazing time. It's like stepping into a magical world of Disney. At Disneyland Paris, you can see a beautiful castle called Sleeping Beauty Castle. It's a center of the park and looks like a castle from fairy tales. There are two main parts to Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Park and Walt Disney Studios Park. In Disneyland Park, you can go on exciting rides like It's a Small World and meet your favorite Disney characters like Mickey Mouse and Cinderella. Walt Disney Studios Park is all about movies and animation. You can ride on the Datutui ride and watch great shows that have special effects. Unit 7. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Social media is like a big online community where people can interact with each other. You can use social media to share photos, videos, and thoughts with your friends and family. Some popular social media platforms include Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Social media lets you stay connected with people even if they are far away. You can send messages, comment on posts, and share what you are going to do. It's a fun way to share your adventures and see what others are doing too. However, it's important to use social media responsibly. Sometimes people might not be nice or might say mean things online. It's important to be kind and respectful to others and not share personal information with people you don't know. You need 10. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Cleopatra was a famous queen who lived a long time ago in ancient Egypt. She was known for her beauty, intelligence, and strong leadership. Let's explore more about her fascinating life. Cleopatra was born in 69 BC and belonged to the Ptolemaic dynasty, which ruled Egypt at that time. She became the queen of Egypt when she was just 18 years old. Cleopatra was not only a queen, but also a powerful ruler who spoke many languages and was well-educated. One of the most famous stories about Cleopatra is her relationship with the Roman leader Julius Caesar. She visited Rome and formed a strong relationship with him. They had a son together named Caesarian. Unit 13. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Mars is a fascinating planet in our solar system and scientists have studied for a long time. Mars is a false planet from the Sun and is often called the red planet because it has a reddish appearance. It gets its color from iron oxide, also known as rust, on its surface. One of the things that makes Mars special is its similarities to Earth. Scientists believe that, long ago, 
Mars had rivers, lakes, and even oceans. They also think that Mars may have an atmosphere which lets to have life. Robots have explored the surface, taking pictures, collecting samples, and searching for signs of past or present life of Mars. Unit 16. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The pen is a tool that people have used for a long time to write. It has changed a lot over the years. A long time ago, people used pens made from feathers. They used ink for these pens to write on paper. Later, pens made from metal called nib pens, which became popular. These pens had a sharp metal tip that was dipped in ink. They made writing easier and clearer. In the 19th century, fountain pens were invented. They had a special reservoir inside that stored the ink. This made it easier to write without dipping the pen in ink all the time. In the 20th century, ballpoint pens were introduced. These pens had a tiny ball that rolled and spread ink as you wrote. They became very popular because they were reliable and didn't need to be filled with ink. Unit 19. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The Eiffel Tower is a famous landmark in Paris, France. Let's discover some interesting facts about this iconic structure. The Eiffel Tower was built in 1889 and was originally intended to be a temporary structure for the World's Fair. However, it became so popular that it was kept standing and has become one of the most recognized landmarks in the world. The tower is named after its designer Gustav Eiffel, a French engineer. It's made of iron and stands at the height of about 330 meters. That's as tall as an 81-story building. It has stairs that you can use to climb up or you can take an elevator if you prefer. From the top, you can enjoy amazing views of Paris, including famous landmarks like the River Seine. Unit 22. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The Mayas were good at farming. They grew crops like corn and beans. They also knew how to manage water for their farms. They had their own calendar and could predict things like eclipses. They were also good at math and had a writing system with special symbols. The Mayas had special ceremonies. They made beautiful pottery and artwork and they had colorful clothes. We aren't sure why the Mayas disappeared, but some think it could be because of changes in the environment or problems in their society. Today, people who are ancestors of the Mayas still live in Central America. They keep some of the traditions and languages of their ancestors. Unit 25. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The Red Sea is a big, pretty sea between Africa and Asia. It got its name because sometimes it looks a little red. The water is very clear and full of colorful fish and plants. The Red Sea is famous for its coral reefs. Coral is like a pretty rock that many different animals live in. People love to go snorkeling and diving in the Red Sea to see the beautiful underwater world. Long ago, the Red Sea was an important place for trading. Boats would sail through the sea to bring goods from one place to another. There are special cities and landmarks along the Red Sea. For example, in Egypt, there is a city called Hurghada with nice beaches and lots of coral reefs. 
in Saudi Arabia, there is a city called Jeddah, which is an old city with an interesting history. Unit 28. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Bumblebees are special insects that help flowers grow. They have big fuzzy bodies with black and yellow stripes. Bumblebees visit flowers to collect nectar, which is like sweet juice. When they do that, yellow pollen sticks to their bodies. As they move from flower to flower, the pollen rubs off and helps plants make fruits and seeds. Bumblebees live together in groups called colonies. In a colony, there's a queen who lays eggs and worker bees who gather food and take care of the colony. Bumblebees make a buzzing sound when they fly because they flap their wings really fast. They're important because they help plants grow by carrying pollen. This helps us have fruits and vegetables to eat. Unit 31. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The story of silk began a really long time ago in ancient China, about 4,000 years ago. People in China found a special kind of worm called a silkworm that could make something amazing. Silk. Silkworms are actually baby caterpillars, and they use silk to make their cocoons, which are like little houses. The Chinese realized that this silk could be turned into beautiful and fancy clothes. So they started raising silkworms and collected their cocoons. Then they carefully unwound the silk thread and used it to make fabric. For a while, silk was a big secret in China. They wanted to keep it special because it was so valuable. But eventually, other countries found out about it. Trades from places like Rome heard about these special clothes and really wanted to get some for themselves. Unit 34. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Social media, like Facebook and Instagram, can have some disadvantages. Let's learn about a few of them. It can take up a lot of time. Social media can be so interesting that we may spend too much time using it. This can make it hard to focus on other important things, like schoolwork or spending time with family and friends. Some people can be mean. Sometimes people say mean things or bully others on social media. It's important to be always kind online and to tell an adult if we see something being mean to others. Privacy can be a problem. When we use social media, we should be careful about what personal information we share. It's important to keep things like our address and phone number private and only share with trusted people. Unit 37. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Our brain is an amazing and powerful part of our body. It helps us think, learn and do many things. Let's explore the incredible power of our brain. Our brain is like a supercomputer. It helps us remember things like our friends' names, math facts, and even stories from books we read. Our brain also helps us learn new things. It's like a sponge that soaks up information. We can learn how to ride a bike, play a musical instrument, or even solve puzzles because of our amazing brain. The brain controls our body's movements. It helps us walk, run, jump and play. It even tells our heart to beat and our lungs to breathe without us thinking about it. Unit 40. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. 
The Pacific Ocean is the biggest ocean on Earth. It's really, really big. It stretches from one side of the world to the other. There are lots of different animals that live in the Pacific Ocean, like fish, whales, and dolphins. Some parts of the ocean have beautiful coral reefs. The Pacific Ocean is also known for its big waves and strong currents. Surfers love to ride the waves there. Many countries have coastlines along the Pacific Ocean, including the United States, Canada, Mexico, Japan, and Australia. The Pacific Ocean is a special place that holds many wonders. It's fun to imagine all the incredible things that happen in the vast waters of the Pacific. Unit 43. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The World Cup is one of the biggest sports events globally. It's a big soccer tournament that happens every four years in different countries. It started in 1930 in Uruguay and has become a huge worldwide event. The 18th World Cup was in Germany in 2006 and the next one was in South Africa in 2010. Every four years, millions of people from all over the world watch which country has the best soccer team. But it is hard to guess which team will win. For example, France won the 16th World Cup but couldn't even score a goal in the 17th. Everyone thought they would do well since they were champions before, but they didn't win any games. That's why the World Cup is exciting to watch. Something new happens every time. Unit 46. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Chips are delicious snacks that many of us enjoy. They have an interesting history. A long time ago in America, people wanted something crispy to eat. They cut potatoes into thin pieces and fried them in hot oil. In 1853, a chef named George Crumb made a mistake while cooking and created the first potato chips. People loved them. Soon, more people started making chips. Machines were invented to slice and fry potatoes quickly. This made chip production faster. Different flavors like cheese and barbecue were introduced over time. Nowadays, chips are loved all around the world. They come in many flavors and shapes. Some chips are even made from vegetables like carrots or beets. The next time you enjoy a bag of chips, remember their tasty history. Unit 49. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Coca-Cola has an interesting history that started in the late 19th century. It was created by a pharmacist named John Pemberton in 1886 in the United States. He came up with a special syrup made from ingredients like coca leaves and cola nuts. Originally, Coca-Cola was intended as a medicinal beverage. Pemberton believed that his drink had healing properties and could help with things like headaches and fatigue. He initially sold Coca-Cola as a tonic in a small pharmacy. As the time went on, the popularity of Coca-Cola grew and it became more of a refreshing beverage than a medicine. In 1891, Asa Candler bought the Coca-Cola formula from Pemberton and established the Coca-Cola company. Unit 52. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The Sahara is really, really big. It stretches across many countries like Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, Mali, 
Niger, Chad, and Sudan. It's even bigger than some whole countries. One thing that makes the Sahara special is its extreme heat. During the day, the sun shines brightly, making the desert extremely hot. The sun can reach temperatures that are hard to imagine. However, at night, the temperature drops a lot, and it can become quite cold. The Sahara is also known for its sand dunes. These are big hills of sand that can be as tall as buildings. People love to go dune surfing and ride camels through the sandy landscape. Even though the Sahara is mostly dry, there are some areas where people and animals can find water. These are called oases, and they are like little islands of life in the desert. People have lived near oases for thousands of years. Unit 55. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The history of the umbrella goes back thousands of years. In ancient times, people used umbrellas made from leaves, branches, and animal skins to protect themselves from the rain and sun. These early umbrellas were not like the ones we have today, but they served a similar purpose. The umbrella as we know it today started to take shape in ancient Egypt, Greece, and Rome. These early umbrellas were often made from palm leaves or feathers attached to wooden frames. They were used by important people like kings and queens as a symbol of power and status. In the 17th century, umbrellas became more popular in Europe. They were made with waterproof materials like oiled silk and wax cotton, making them better for protecting against rain. Umbrella shops started appearing in cities and people began using umbrellas for everyday purposes. Unit 58. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The Earth has its own natural climate, which means the weather changes over a long time. But something is happening that's changing our climate. It's called climate change. Climate change is caused by many things, but one big factor is human activity. When we burn fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas, it sends gases into the air. These gases take heat from the sun, making the Earth warmer. This is called the greenhouse effect. As the Earth gets warmer, it causes many problems. The ice at the north and south poles is melting, which raises the sea levels. This can make flood in coastal areas and harm animals that live there. It also makes weather more extreme, leading to stronger storms, heat waves, and droughts. Unit 61. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. A chameleon is a kind of lizard. There are over 80 different species of chameleon in the world. Many of them live in India and the Middle East. The unusual thing about chameleons is that many species can change their colors. Some people believe chameleons change their colors and animals can't see them and attack them. But the reality is different. They usually change colors when they are angry or frightened. In one minute, a chameleon can be red. The next minute, it can be green. Chameleons can turn their eyes backwards. As a result, they can look behind them without moving their body or head. They can even have one eye looking forward. We can see chameleons in the nature, and they are also kept as a pet now. 
Unit 64. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Marilyn Monroe was born on June 1st, 1926, in Los Angeles, California. Her real name was Norma Jean Mortensen. Marilyn's childhood was difficult. Most of the time, she lived in orphanages, but Monroe always dreamed to become an actress. That's why she moved to Hollywood at the age of 16. She made her film debut in 1948. After that, she quickly became a rising star. She was known for her beauty and talent. Although Monroe was very famous and had many fans, she had health problems. But she continued to work in Hollywood and became a star. Her unique style and glamorous image inspired generations of fans. Monroe died in 1962 at the age of 36. However, people still watch her movies and remember this famous actress. Unit 67. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Polar bears are also known as white bears. They are one of the largest mammals on the earth. The bears can weigh up 1,200 kilograms. They live in the Arctic regions of North America, Russia, Greenland, and Norway. The polar bear's fur is thick and white. It helps them stay warm in the cold environment. Polar bears are excellent swimmers. They can swim for long distances in the icy water. White bears are wild animals. They eat meat and often hunt on seals. Sadly, the Arctic ice is melting because of global warming. This affects the polar bear habitat and food sources. We should preserve the population of polar bears. Unit 70. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Burj Khalifa is considered the tallest skyscraper in the world. Its total height is 828 meters. Burj Khalifa is situated in Dubai. It was designed by Adrian Smith. Adrian is a famous architect. The building construction started in 2004 and finished in 2010. The Burj Khalifa has 163 floors. It's mainly made of steel and glass. In the building, there are hotels, restaurants, offices, and apartments. It's so tall that you can see it from anywhere in Dubai. Tourists from all over the world come to see and take pictures of the great view from the top. The building also has the world's fastest elevator. It can travel up to 10 meters per second. Burj Khalifa is considered a true marvel of engineering and architecture. It's a symbol of Dubai. Unit 73. Listen to the passage. and answer the questions. The man who created the internet is Tim Berners-Lee. He was born on June 8, 1955 in London. Berners-Lee is a computer scientist. He created the World Wide Web. Berners-Lee studied physics at the University of Oxford. After graduation, He worked at a number of technology companies, like the European Physics Research Center. In 1989, Berners-Lee suggested a system for sharing information over the Internet. He created the first web browser and a web server. He also developed the first web page. This page describes the World Wide Web and how to use it. The first website he created 
is still available online today. Berners-Lee invention changed the world. It made information accessible to millions of people around the globe. The internet changed the way we communicate. Berners-Lee is one of the most important figures in the history. Unit 76. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. American football became a popular sport in the United States. It is played by two teams. There are 11 players in each team. But at first the game had different rules. It was played mainly in colleges. Each college had its own rules. The first college football game took place between Rutgers University and Princeton University in 1869. At this time, the game was played with 25 players on each team. The ball was round. Over the years, several important changes took place. In 1880, Walter Camp of Yale University suggested a standard set of rules for the game. By the early 1900s, the football became a popular sport across the United States. New rules and regulations were created. However, it still remains a popular sport in the United States with millions of fans watching the game each year. Unit 79. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Meditation is a very old activity. People have been doing it for thousands of years. Today people enjoy meditating as well. Meditating every day can lower stress, improve focus and help with relaxing. Because nowadays, people work very hard every day. They love coming home and meditating. People sit to meditate comfortably. Instead of thinking other thoughts, they focus on their breathing in and holding it. Then, they breathe out slowly. When their minds start to think of other things, people need to concentrate again. Some people like listening to music during meditation. Others don't like sitting. They prefer to go walking or do activities like yoga. There are many ways to meditate, which are really helpful. Unit 82 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th President of the United States, who served as an American lawyer, politician, and statesman. He was famous for leading the country during the hard times of America. He was able to keep the country strong and together. He improved himself by self-studying. He studied the law and began to work as a lawyer. Later, Abraham Lincoln became a politician who was against slavery. He wanted to stop slavery for the development of the country. But southern states didn't agree with him. He collected an army from northern states to fight against the south. Later a bloody war began, and it ended after four years. At the end, Lincoln was able to keep the states together. After the war, Lincoln decided to rebuild the country. He wanted to make big changes in southern states. Unfortunately, he didn't see it. Abraham Lincoln was killed on April 15, 1865 in Washington. Unit 85. Listen to the passage. Answer the questions. Recycling is really important for our planet. It helps us take care of the earth and keep it clean. When we recycle, we reuse things instead of throwing them away. This means we don't make as much trash. 
Recycling also saves energy and resources because we don't have to make new things all the time. For example, when we recycle paper, we can make more paper without cutting down more trees. It's like giving things a second life. Recycling helps us save water, minerals and oil too. It also helps us have less pollution in the air. By recycling, we can all do our part to make the earth a better place for everyone. Unit 88. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The Mississippi River is one of the biggest rivers in the world. It contains more water than the Nile. Next to the Nile, it is the longest river after the Nile in the world. It takes three months to travel the entire river by water. The Mississippi starts in Peru and slowly flows all the way across Brazil to the Atlantic Ocean. The river flows through jungles where it rains for months at a time. In the 16th century, the river served as a barrier that helped the European settlers form borders for New Spain, New France, and the early United States. They also used it as an important transportation. The surface of the Mississippi looks as glass. But under the surface, the water is full of snakes, alligators, and a deadly fish called piranha. There's a lot of life on the surface of the Mississippi River, too. Some of the people living along the river built their houses on a wooden flat. This floating structure is tied together with ropes. Then, when the river floods during the rainy season, the water rises. Unit 91. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Before the 1800s, people traveled across the Atlantic Ocean by sailing boats. The journeys often took many weeks and they were very dangerous. In the 19th century, large ships began to cross the Atlantic. The journeys weren't so dangerous and they usually took several days, not weeks. An American ship called United States made a world record journey in 1952 crossing the Atlantic in three days. 10 hours and 40 minutes. In 1990, a British plane became the first plane to cross the Atlantic without stopping. The journey took about 72 hours. In 1927, the first passenger plane went across the ocean and in the 1930s, Germany started flying planes across the Atlantic with 60 passengers at a time. Now, about 600 planes travel across the Atlantic every day and the average flight time from London to New York is 6 hours and 30 minutes. There are plans for a tunnel so people can travel by train under the Atlantic. Unit 94. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Traditional Australian food is similar to British food. In the past, Australians ate simple food, for example, grilled meat or fish and vegetables. Some other traditional dishes are fish and chips, steak, roast lamb served with a sauce made from meat fat. But don't confuse an Australian pie with an American pie. Australian pies are baked with meat. However, American pies are baked with fruits or jam. Today, Mediterranean and Asian flavors are common in Australia. Australians enjoy cuisine from all over the world, 
from African to French, Vietnamese or Turkish. For example, sushi is a popular and healthy fast food. In addition, fresh fish, meat, vegetables and fruit are very important to the Australian diet. The pavlova is Australia's most famous dessert. It is made of egg whites, sugar, corn, lemon juice and vanilla extract. The pavlova is named after Russian ballet dancer Anna Pavlova. Another Australian favourite is the lamington, a cake with jam, chocolate and coconut. They are very delicious. Unit 97 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Arshim Malalan is the first Azerbaijani movie. It was produced in 1945 and directed by Hussein Seydzadeh. The movie tells the story of a young man, Asghar. Asghar is in love with a rich girl named Gülçehre. However, Gülçehre's father is a wealthy merchant. He doesn't want his daughter to marry a poor man. To win over Gülçehre's father, Asghar introduced himself as a wealthy businessman, Arshim Malalan. He impresses Gülçehre's father. Her father agrees to let Asghar marry his daughter. However, Asghar's true identity is discovered on the day of the wedding. In the end, Gülçehre's father realizes that Asghar's love for his daughter is real and gives his blessings to the couple. Arshim Malalan was a masterpiece in Azerbaijani cinema and is still considered one of the greatest films in Azerbaijani history. It was the first Azerbaijan film that was shown internationally. This film was a huge success in Azerbaijan and in neighboring countries. The film is famous for its beautiful scenery, traditional music, and dances. It shows Azerbaijani customs and traditions. Anyone interested in Azerbaijani culture and history must watch this film. Unit 100. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Pizza is a delicious Italian dish that became popular worldwide. People didn't know that pizza was the food of poor people before. The modern pizza we know today comes from Naples, Italy. In the 18th century, the working class in Naples often ate a flatbread called focacci. There were various ingredients such as tomatoes, cheese, garlic and olive oil on the flatbread. The margarita pizza was invented by Raffaele Esposito in 1889. He made this pizza in honor of Queen Margarita. She was visiting Naples at that time. The pizza was cooked with tomatoes, mozzarella cheese and some vegetables. The ingredients represented the colors of the Italian flag. Pizza grew in popularity in Naples and across Italy. In the 20th century, Italian immigrants brought pizza to other parts of the world. The first pizzeria in the United States was opened in New York City in 1905. Today, pizza became a common food in many parts of the world. There are numerous kinds of pizza with different ingredients. However, it all began with a simple flatbread in Naples. Unit 103. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. McDonald's is the largest fast food chain in the world. The company was founded in 1940 in California by two brothers. Their names were Richard McDonald and Maurice McDonald. 
At first, McDonald's was a small restaurant with a limited menu. There were mainly burgers, fries, and drinks in the menu. However, a businessman named Ray Kroc saw the potential in the business. He convinced McDonald Brothers to let him open a restaurant in Illinois State in 1955. Ray Kroc wanted to build a network of McDonald's restaurants all over the world. By the end of the 1960s, there were more than 1,000 McDonald's restaurants across the United States. The company's success continued. By the end of 20th century, McDonald's had over 30,000 restaurants in more than 100 countries. Although the company faces criticism for issues such as obesity and low salary for its employees, McDonald's continues to be a very popular restaurant chain around the world. Unit 106. Listen to the passage. Answer the questions. Exploring under the sea is really interesting. The ocean has a world of amazing things to discover. Under the water, we can see coral reefs, fish, and large sea turtles. There is a whole new world here with its own flora and fauna. Our bodies can breathe underwater with the help of special equipment such as Equatoria. Scientists also study the ocean to learn more about the creatures in the ocean. It affects our planet. The ocean is really deep and there are many parts we have yet to study. It's an adventure to get down and see what we can find. Researching the ocean is a fun and educational way to learn about nature's beauty. Unit 109. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. There are many people who don't like queeing. But queeing is a British way of life because it is considered to be a socially acceptable and accurate way of waiting for something. It is shown as a way to be fair and everyone has an equal opportunity. That's why it is said the British were born creating fairness and equality. Additionally, it avoids chaos in situations where there may be limited resources. They respect it much. So, never jump the line or push in someone. Don't ask the person behind you to keep your place if you visit toilet or leave for a long time. If you are carrying any suitcase or pushing a trolley, you mustn't drive into people. It's impolite. However, if you tell somebody, excuse me, in a polite way, they can change their turn with you. Unit 112. Listen to the passage. Answer the questions. Do you like looking at the stars in the night sky? Well, did you know that there is a big space beyond our Earth? It's called outer space. I really enjoy studying space. Astronauts are brave people who travel in special spaceships to explore space. Their suits protect them from harm. When they go to space, they can see interesting things like planets, stars, and even other galaxies. They use telescopes to look far into space and learn more about it. We have so much to learn about space, and it's really big. Scientists study space to learn about our universe and how it all began. There is no end to the adventure. Researching space helps us understand more about the world we live in and the mysteries of the world. Unit 115. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. 
The Inuit are special people. The old name was Eskimo. It means eater of meat. In 1977, the Eskimos changed their names to Inuit. Inuit means the people in their language. They live in very cold places, Siberia, Alaska, Greenland, and Canada. There are about 120,000 Inuit in the world today. In the past, their life was hard. They lived in houses made of snow. The Inuit hunted for all their food. The men traveled in the snow on sleds. About 10 dogs pulled a sled. The men killed fish and other animals. Then they went home and shared their food with other families. The women made clothes from animal skins. The Inuit need money as well. They sell animal skins to Canadians. Today, their lives are very different in Canada. Most Inuit live in villages. Their houses are made of wood. They buy food and clothes from stores. They use the telephone, television, and the internet. In the 1970s, the Inuit wanted to control their land. In 1999, the Canadian government agreed. The government gave a piece of land in the north of Canada. The name of the land is Natavut. It means our land in their language. Unit 118. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Bruce Lee was born in Chinatown in San Francisco in 1940. But his parents soon moved back to Hong Kong, where the place is his motherland. His father, Li Hoi Xuan, was a famous opera singer and actor. His mother, Grace, was a wealthy aristocrat. In 1957, Li won the Hong Kong High School Boxing Championship and then became the Hong Kong champion for 1958. At the age of 18, he returned to the United States where his sister and brother lived. He studied drama and philosophy at the University of Washington in Seattle. After a while, he had the chance to be a character of the very famous TV series Kung Fu. But director didn't want to have a Chinese person as a star of the series. So he came back to Hong Kong. Bruce immediately made three very successful films with director Raymond Chow called The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, and The Way of the Dragon. His last film, Enter the Dragon, was also very popular. The movie has made more than 200 million US dollars. Bruce Lee was a philosopher too and wrote a lot of books. He believed that all knowledge eventually became self-knowledge. Unit 121. Listen to the passage. Answer the questions. Marvel superheroes are really cool and loved by kids all over the world. They have special powers and do amazing things to keep us safe and make us happy. Spider-Man is a famous hero who can climb walls and swing from buildings with his web. He is extremely fast and can do jumps. Iron Man is another fantastic hero who wears special clothes and can fly in the sky. He's really smart and uses his skills to fight bad guys and protect people. His shield can block anything, making him a strong and brave hero. He fights for what's right and always helps others. Marvel superheroes come together as the Avengers to save the world from really strong and bad guys.
Unter 124. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Okinawa is a place which is famous for its oceans, better soft beaches. It is located between Taiwan and Japan. Although this adorable land is an official part of Japan, its language and culture differ from Japanese. This place is known as a center of longevity. As if people refuse to die. There are hundreds of people living over a hundred. So the island is considered at the healthiest place on the earth. The Okinawans have fewer chronic illnesses, such as cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Their food is full of nutrients and vitamins. There is no winter there. The temperature reaches 20 degrees Celsius here, even in colder months. People grow all their vegetables and fruits in their gardens. All restaurants serve an organic longevity menu, which is cooked with only organic seasonal vegetables. Actually, people don't try purposefully to live as long as possible because they all come together, eat, dance, do exercise and work. They don't worry, but just move on. Even after retirement, people have a simple lifestyle as well. Unter 127. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Color psychology is a subject which studies how color affects different people. It also studies their behavior, memory, emotions, and actions. Colors have an important effect in our life. However, it is also mainly cultural. In some cultures, black is known as a symbol of death, evil, or misfortune. In others, it means elegance. Warm colors like yellow, orange, or red can be motivated. But seeing them too much can be a little bit annoying. Shades of green and blue are considered to be the most peaceful and calm. Green helps concentration and blue symbolizes creativity. Red represents not only danger, power, or aggression but also self-confidence, passion, and love. It attracts attention faster. This color also helps learners to remember facts and information. While white is a color which means purity and clearness, it sometimes can be bright like sunshine to some people. It is considered to be monotonous too. The color of luxury purple is often used in the beauty industry, especially in anti-aging products. Despite of the fact, no one reacts to colors in the same way. Unit 130. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Traveling is very popular nowadays. A lot of people travel to different countries if they have such opportunity. Traveling allows you to get interesting experience, learn about people's life in other countries and continents. I think it is very interesting to discover new things, new places, and different ways of life. While on travel, you meet new people, try different meals, see world-famous places with your own eyes. These are many ways of traveling, by train, by plane, by ship, on foot. If you want to visit a far country, you'll definitely choose a flight. If your aim is to see many countries for a short time, you'll choose traveling by bus or by car. If you want to be closer to nature, you may choose a trip on foot. Lots of people nowadays live in big cities, so it is natural that they want to have a holiday by the sea 
or in the mountains with nothing to do but relaxing. There is other sort of travelers. They want to visit as many countries as possible. People who travel a lot are very interesting. They always have a good story to tell. Thanks to them, we can learn many things which we didn't know before. They motivate to see something new, to explore the world, which is so easy to do nowadays. 133. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The snow leopard lives in a rocky mountain caves in Central Asia. The animal's beautiful, soft, gray fur covers with black or brown round spots. Its heavy fur protects the animal from very cold. The snow leopard uses its tail both to balance and wrap around its body. It covers its nose and mouth at freezing temperatures. The bottoms of its large furry paws help it to protect the pads from the cold and sharp rocks. The snow leopard is like other big cats in some ways, but has differences as well. For example, other big cats row, but they don't. And the snow leopard doesn't lay down when it feeds. Most leopards hunt at night, but snow leopards hunt in the early morning and late afternoon. In spring, a female snow leopard has kittens from one to four. They stay with their mother through their first winter, then begin hunting on their own. In fact, the snow leopards are endangered species. They have been hunted for their fur and bones, which are used in some Chinese medicines. Scientists estimate there are only from 4,000 to 7,000 species left in the wild. You may be able to see one in a zoo. In 136, listen to the passage and answer the questions. Trading was a source of great wealth to 14th century merchants in Venice Italy. Ships brought spices, silk, and other goods from Asia for merchants to sell to wealthy customers. With such expensive items, a merchant could become very rich in just a few years. But it took just one storm of sea or pirate attack to lose all goods. To reduce the risk, the merchants formed trade unions to provide protection against loss. That was the beginning of insurance. Each merchant paid a certain amount of money to help any member who suffered a loss. Soon, merchants in other countries began to provide insurance on their goods. The first life insurance policy was sold in England in the 16th century. A century later, the first fire insurance became available. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin founded a U.S. insurance company so people didn't lose everything in a fire. Today, thousands of the U.S. companies insure businesses and individuals for everything. And 139. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The great Azerbaijani singer Rashid Behbudov was born in 1915 in Tbilisi. His father, Majid Behbudov, was a performer of Azerbaijani Muhams. In 1933, Rashid left the high school. He was invited to Mustaid summer concert held in Tbilisi. He performed Azeri national songs with an unexpected success. Later, Rashid entered the Railway College. He organized student orchestra there. Later, they offered him to perform the role of Askar in the operetta Arshem Malalan by Uzeyr Hajibayev. 
In 1946, the film got the government award and was accepted to the gold fund of the Soviet films. They awarded Rashid the state laureate for his performance. In 1956, Rashid Behbudov became a leading singer in Azerbaijan State Philharmony after Muslim Magomayev. A year later, in 1957, he began to work with Azerbaijan State Concert Group. In 1965, he organized the first song theater and was a main singer and leader of that theater to the end of his life. Rashid Behbudov visited a lot of countries. In all his songs, he glorified Azerbaijan wherever he was. They awarded the Azerbaijani singer with medals and orders. He developed and made Azerbaijani music prosperous. During all his lifetime, Rashid was a real patriot. He was a good model of serving to motherland. Rashid Behbudov will always live in the hearts of the Azerbaijani people. Unit 142. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Glass is a hard material that is used for all kinds of things. Glass is made by melting sand or stone in a fire until it becomes a liquid. When the liquid cools and gets hard, it becomes glass. Thousands of years ago, people didn't know how to make glass, and so they used natural glass. Natural glass is made in two ways. Firstly, glass can be made during a storm. When lightning hits sand, thin glass tubes are produced in the heat. Glass can also be made when a volcano erupts. The rock that comes out of the volcano is very hot, so it becomes liquid. It cools very quickly and becomes glass. You can find natural glass in the islands between Greece and Turkey, where there are lots of volcanoes. Today, glass is a very important part of our lives. We use it for making objects such as bowls, jewelry, and works of art. But it is also important for technology. We use it for TV screens, car windscreens, computer monitors, microscope lenses, mobile phone screens, and all kinds of other machines and devices. Our lives can be very different without it. Unit 145. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Rafael Nadal is a well-known and successful Spanish tennis player. He was born on a Spanish island called Mejoca on 3rd June 1986, where his family lived. He started playing tennis when he was three. Although he is right-handed, he changed to playing left-handed when he was eight years old. He also really liked football, but stopped playing because he needed more time for school. His uncle, Tony, helped Rafael to become a professional. When Rafael was 14, the Spanish Tennis Federation wanted Rafael to leave the island of Mejoca and move to Barcelona. However, his family didn't want this, so the Spanish Federation decided to reduce the financial help for Rafael's career. Decision of the Spanish Federation was very stupid and very typical. But nothing could stop Rafael. Rafael tried to win Wimbledon twice and took the title from his friend Roger Federer in 2008. They played the longest Wimbledon final ever. Hero and former champion John McEnroe called it the best tennis match in history. In the same year, Rafael became the best player in the world. Unit 148. Listen to the passage 
and answer the questions. Have you ever heard about the Bermuda Triangle? It's a location in the ocean where many airplanes and ships have disappeared without a sign. Some people believe that these disappearances are caused by strange things like aliens or sea monsters. However, scientists are still working hard to understand the real reasons behind these incidents. They conduct studies and investigations in the area. They're trying to solve this mysterious puzzle. The Bermuda Triangle is an interesting and curious story that leads to people's curiosity and makes them want to learn more. It's fascinating how something like this can attract our imagination and make us curious.